Welcome back. This is the third video in our three-part series on how to treat and dry and finish a large batch of wood cookies using Pentacrol. So we've got all of our wood cookies out of either the cardboard or brown paper that they've been drying in, and they all look absolutely fantastic. There's no checking, not even any surface cracking on any of them except for one. And this little guy right here decided that it just wanted to do its own thing and crack on us just like the characteristic of wood cookies that aren't treated. So there's really no rhyme or reason why this one particular one did this. It could be that it wasn't wrapped tight enough in the cardboard or the plastic or possibly this cookie had a lot of stress on it just at this point where a tree was. So one out of 59 cracked. So that's in this case a good, good percentage, less than 1%. So that's not too bad. So I do tell my customers when they're treating a lot of cookies like we are here for a wedding or some type of banquet or, or special event is to go ahead and cut a few extras just in case one does happen to crack like this and then with that way you're covered. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you when I unwrapped some of these larger Aspen cookies. As you can see, there's a little bit of white on here and what that is is just a small amount of mold and that could be because this wood was so, so wet um, when we treated it and when it was drying that um, wrapped in the, the paper, it did get a little bit of mold, but that's not a big issue because what we can do is, um, like I talked about before, if there's an issue with mold is just take some Lysol and then just spray it on that area. And then what we'll do is we'll just lightly wet this down and that will kill, kill any of the mold spores. So it's just on the bark area, you know, the surface wood is, is fine. So if there happened to be mold on the surface area here, what you can do is once the cookie has dried, you can still spray Lysol on it or you can sand it off and it'll, it'll, um, it'll come off because it's just on the surface. The cool thing about Pentacle treated wood is once it's completely dry, it's gonna look and feel like the natural wood. So you can work with this however you want. If you wanna sand it, stain it, glue it, um, we can apply a finish to it and it can even be wood burned. So I'm gonna show you a few of those steps. But first I wanna answer one question that I get a lot from you guys is, will Pentacryl keep the bark on my wood? And the answer to that is it will help because what Pentacryl does is it prevents this wood from shrinking and pulling away from the bark. But the best bet to keep bark on your wood long term is to have the tree cut during the dormant state when the sap has hardened off and stopped running. As I mentioned in part one of this video when we were treating the wood is these uh, this tree, the aspen and the pine were both cut in September. So it's not necessarily the dormant period here in Colorado, but as you can see, the bark is still nice and tight on both these pieces. So there could be a pretty high chance that it will stay on long-term. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand both of these pieces. So as you can see, it's nice and, and smooth, and it sure would be a whole lot easier if you had a planer. <laughs> but this little sander works. And then I wanted to let you know as well, if, if your sandpaper gums up, then that's an indication that the wood isn't dry yet. There's still pentacle or there's still water in there. So you just need to let it dry longer. So I've got several cookies sanded and cleaned off. and. I'm going to just show you a couple methods um, on what you can apply to this wood, but obviously you guys are the woodworkers, so whatever you need to do to your wood that's um, pentacle treated, you can. If you want to stain it, um, if you need to glue it, wood burn it, you can, but, but for this purpose, I'm just going to apply an oil-based polyurethane, a shellac, and then a water-based polyurethane. So I'm going to start with the oil-based and we've already got it stirred up nice and I'm gonna put this one on the pine cookie Pentacle 
And a co-treated wood can also be wood burned. It's the next day after we've treated three of our cookies and this is the one that was treated with the oil-based polyurethane and it's dried super nice. As you can see, I also put it on the bark. And then this one is the one we treated with the shellac. That one actually looks a little bit brighter. It's super pretty. So this one we applied two coats. So we lightly sanded it and applied another coat to it. So this one I want to talk a little bit more about. This is our wood that was treated with the water-based polyurethane. And generally we don't recommend using any water-based products. And the reason for that is it's adding moisture back into the wood and it could leave the surface tacky. In this case it did not. So I wanted to test it to see how it would look. In this case it feels fine. So what we'd recommend if you're gonna use water-based products is to always test a small area first to make sure that it's gonna work for you. So I get questions as well is, do I have to apply a finish to the wood? And you do not. You can leave it unfinished um, like this for as long as you want. It does not have to have a sealer on it. So this wraps up this series of three videos on treating, drying, and finishing wood cookies using our Pentacle products. I hope it was super helpful for you and answered some of your questions. If you still have questions, feel free to check us out on our website or always give us a call. Um, as well, you guys do some incredible work out there. And this video was on treating wood cookies, but our customers who are turners, who are also carvers, also furniture makers, you guys do some amazing stuff. So please feel free to continue sharing your projects um, with us. Uh, send us photos or videos. And thank you to our customers again and again, and happy woodworking.